Our wetland monitoring and assessment program is part of the watershed assessment section in the DENREC's Division of Watershed Stewardship. And our main goal is to develop methods to determine the condition or the health of wetlands of all types across the state. 25% or a quarter of Delaware's land area is wetlands. And wetlands of all types are working all the time to help clean our water, protect us from storms and inland flooding, and provide habitat for plants and wildlife, but also just create a really special environment, a nice habitat that's, that's unique. Yeah, until 2000, Delaware was uh, measuring its wetlands just based on acreage, so using maps based on aerial photos and maps of soils to determine how many acres of wetlands they have. But sometimes those acres, acres of wetlands are not performing the same way. They're, they're not in the same condition. And so the next level of evaluation is to actually go and visit those wetlands and determine what condition they're in and how well they're actually performing those functions that, that we named. And our group, Every summer we go out and we visit a new area of Delaware and we assess the condition of wetlands um, in tidal wetlands and non-tidal wetlands. And that on the ground information is very valuable. And so when we visit the wetlands um, around the state, such as the one we're visiting today, we're able to look at um, indicators of wetland health. You know, um, has this area been impacted? Is the hydrology natural? How, how close is the condition of this wetland to natural state? And then we can put them all together. We visit 90 to 100 sites around the state or around, around each watershed. And we put all that information together and we're able to report on the condition of, of every wetland type and say, you know, a riverine wetland in this watershed, it averages an 85 on a 0 to 100. And that's pretty good. But maybe flat wetlands in this watershed are only averaging 70. And so we're able to take that technical information and make very specific management recommendations. So in this tidal assessment that we're performing right here, in this tidal emergent wetland, we have, um, we have a, an assessment area set up that's a 50 meter radius circle. And within that we've established uh, eight vegetation plots. So over the course of this assessment that will take two hours, the crew of two to three biologists will visit each subplot and look at the vegetation that's growing, the height of it, what species are growing, and look at the um, stability of the soil. How broken up is it? Is it is the marsh intact? Are the roots holding it together? Is it in good condition? Are the plants dying back unusually? And look for features in the wetland that are natural, like natural natural guts running through, or is there artificial ditching that's um, you know channeling the water out? Um, are there other features like invasive plants like Phragmites? Um, are there, beyond looking at this smaller assessment area, they're also looking at the area around the wetland or the buffer because that's, that's very important for how the wetland is functioning as well. A lot of times how the wetland, the wetland may be healthy, but if the buffer around it has, is in heavy land use or has been impacted, that's going to change how the wetland can work. So the uh, buffer around here is in a very natural state. We have a lot of natural um, shoreline that's that has not been hardened or developed and we have a lot of forest area in their buffer and that's great. In the future as we face sea level rise and climate change, these tidal wetlands will be able to migrate slowly upland into these forested areas and still be able to provide that interface between open water and forest upland habitat. One of the ways we share our information is through social media. So we're on Facebook and we're on Twitter, we're sharing pictures from the field of animals and comical situations and interesting scenic landscapes. Um, we also share information, you know, if we have a new release of a report, some new information that's coming out, we like to post that, as well as sharing um, events that are coming up from some of our other conservation partners. So you can like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. What we do is, um, is labor intensive in the hot sun. We're out here and mucking around in hot boots and dragging heavy equipment, but it's a lot of fun. We have a great crew. Watershed assessment is a great section to work in and the team that we have out here in the field is a lot of fun. You know, it is what you make of it and we all love wetlands. We're happy to be out here visiting them and gathering this important data because we know that without having this on the ground information, we really would have a very limited view of what Delaware's wetlands look like. So any way that we can help improve the protection and the restoration of them in the future and, and make better decisions, we're happy to be out here. Another day in the mud. <laughs>